Many of us are looking for that one miraculous thing that will help us lose weight and keep it off. One product promises to do that and much more. In tonight's segment two, two news anchor Karen Larson finds out if the miracle noodles live up to their name. The claims sound appealing. These noodles are advertised as calorie free, gluten free, carb free and guilt free. The people who sell them say they fill you up, make you feel good about what you're eating, and can be part of a healthy, low-carb, high-fiber diet. But are they truly the miracle they claim to be? We put the company's angel hair noodles to the test. Renee is a high school coach. Mark is a firefighter. Both want to eat healthier and lose some weight. I like most pasta, so... I'm pretty optimistic on the, uh, the outcome and the taste. Mother of three, Lynn Saltz, also agreed to test them. Lynn says they'll fit in nicely with her Weight Watchers plan and thinks they may help keep her fuller longer. My hope is that it would keep me from snacking. But before anyone ate their first bite of Miracle Noodles, we ran them past endocrinologist Greg Feynman. I was actually surprised I'd never heard about them before. He says the main ingredient is an Asian plant root that's been around longer than any of us. One you could find in different packaging at various grocery stores, probably for less money. But overall? As a substitution for, for say, pasta, uh, they're a nice choice because they're no calorie compared to pasta and no carbohydrates. But you've got to want to eat them to get a benefit. All of our testers were a little taken back by the looks of them. A little weird, but <laughs> strings and water. I can't say they look that appetizing. Do they look good? No, it looks yucky. The testers were asked to do some research and come up with a way to prepare them they think they'd like, following the instructions on the packaging. Mark came up with sautéed chicken and mushrooms in a white wine reduction. He found working with the noodles a little difficult. They're sticking together. Maybe, you know, like with pasta, you might put a little oil on them to break them up. Lynn used a Weight Watchers friendly mixture of low fat sour cream and baby bell cheese with salt and pepper. As the testers sat down for their official taste of Miracle Noodles, they all noted the texture first. A little rubbery. Lynn had a similar reaction to her first bite. Sort of like eating calamari, where it's just a little tougher to eat, but the taste is. is uh, is surprisingly good. The flavor isn't bad. I like the taste of them. The testers all agreed that the noodles delivered on their promise to absorb the flavor of whatever was cooked with them. Now the question, are they good enough to add to their weight loss regimen? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Halfway. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Which way? Thumbs up for me. Uh, kind of neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. like the taste. Karen Larson, 2 News, works for you. Now, Renee says that the noodles helped her to lose four pounds. As for Lynn, she didn't like the noodles, says she doesn't plan on eating them again.